Hello everybody, how are we all doing? So today is Sunday the 14th of July 2013. Um, I've just been looking through some of my uh, videos that I took in Metropolis and I actually completely forgot that there was a couple more or at least two or three more that I needed to upload. Um, so uh, this is just a quick little intro on one of them uh, which was the Lois, uh, Lois Lane, the Margot Kidder and Tracy Scoggins Q&A. Um, I didn't actually attend the whole thing because uh, I think my uh, camera's battery literally uh, died <laughs> it, during that. It was, I, was, I was only able to get about seven minutes worth of footage um, but it's actually quite quite worthwhile footage because uh, Margot Kidder was answering a couple of questions and um, she does give some very very honest answers particularly about Ilya Salkine, Christopher Reeve as well, um, and obviously her time during during the movies. And there's one particular part about where she speaks about Superman three as well. And Tracy Scoggins also answered a question, which which was a, a very very funny question uh, regarding her time during uh, Lois and Clark New Adventures of Superman as well. So without further ado, as I say, it's only about seven and a half minutes long. So um, just uh, just enjoy it, watch it, and uh, yeah, as I say, it is it is quite quite an interesting. Uh, Quite an interesting piece that, that, I, that I took a video of it at the time. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, here it is. Um, but he was, you know, he was very serious about his work. He, he was terrible at improvising. So if something happened that hadn't been rehearsed, he just wasn't an actor who adjusted very well to that. And I loved it when accidents happened. And you do something totally unexpected. So he used to cut takes on me, and I'd go, don't you cut the tape on me. My crude gun there, they go again. And uh, so he was very meticulous in his work. Very, very meticulous. And I tend to like to leave spaces for the unexpected to happen. <coughs> And if you're going to ask a question, if you would mind standing up so they can see exactly who you are, and just in case you become a stalker, they'll know exactly who you are. My question is for Margot. Uh, which one of the Lois Lane movies was your favorite Superman movie, and why? My favorite Superman movie is the Dick Donner cut, and it almost makes me cry because that that movie didn't come out in the theaters is a tragedy. It was so good, and what the producers did by, you know, we only had two more scenes to shoot, and we would have had that one, and they fired him, they didn't want to pay him what he was due from the hit that we made. Um, so, the one that most of people have never seen is the, is my favorite, Superman 2. Go get it. You can get the Richard Donner cut of Superman 2. Mm -hmm. It's very romantic. It's much more heartfelt. Richard Lester is a wonderful director and a wonderful brainy guy, but he's a really cynical guy, and he was embarrassed to be making an Ameri American comic book. So he shot it fast and cynically, and we'd been shooting it with absolute truth in our hearts. And I think you can see the difference. Um, I, I think when you look at Superman 2, you can see the parts that Dick Donner directed versus the parts that Richard Lester directed. And also, all the actors are looking a little angry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because all that stuff comes out on screen. It's there. So, yeah, the Richard Donner cut of Superman 2. Brilliant. Carry that another step further. The rumor has it that you were very vocal to the salt times about your displeasure over Dick Donner being fired and Richard Lester coming in, and that's what led to you only having about five minutes of screen time in Superman 3. Yeah, I did say to the press that the producers were beneath contempt as human beings. And that wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 so they said, we, she's not in the movie, we fired her. And Warner Brothers said, you can't. She was one of the things that people really liked. They loved Lois Lane. So they had me come in at the beginning. I had 12 lines, and one of them was Oak Clark. And I come in and I say, I'm going on vacation. And I come back at the end of the movie with a tan. And they, so that was, Warner's insisted I, so they could put me in the credits that I, that I do it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Another oh, question. Uh, 